Hey guys, Jay here just with a kit review or a look at what's inside the box of the AMT 49.4 Coupe Gas Man. Reissued uh, just lately here and popped out. I've uh, been wanting this kit for a while but just didn't want to pay eBay prices for it so I was excited when they reissued it. So got myself a couple copies of it but just thought I'd show what was in the kit. I didn't have one of the older ones so I don't know if anything is different from this one to the older one but they went with the retro um with the, the box art it's a three in one so you get the you get the custom the stock and the drag version of it you got a picture of the custom and the drag um i've got plastic parts out already because they're probably gonna go into the bath because i like i said i've been waiting on this kit for quite a while so it's going to be uh, I have that Ford that I'm building the 56 Ford F100 I got building right now I'm working on and then the Batmobile 2 that I'm working on so and then trying to finish up the cancer awareness so but this one's going to be thrown into the mix as well so kind of four builds on the go here and like I said we'll just I'll just do one at a time and go from there but uh, it looks like a fairly decent kit um, not too much work would be need done to the body. A little filling in here, you can see, I don't know, like there's chunks missing out of the bottom here. So just a little filling and clean up along there. I've never built this kit, so I can't really say how it builds up. And you know, when you build it, you always see a lot more stuff because you're spending more time with it, obviously sanding and looking at fine details. But just at a first glance, it looks uh, fairly decent. Just your normal like cleanup it looks like nothing major or extra work needed and like i said i'm impressed with it body feels really um thick and sturdy so that's nice the firewall's molded in and same with the fenders on it a lot of stuff's molded in on this kit i noticed like interior here you got the rear seat and the uh interior doors are molded in and whatnot but i'm not too worried about that <clears throat> i'm just happy to have the uh the kit and then this tree here you get two bags with with parts in it and with uh, the sprues so you get some drag or custom seats in it and whatnot and then this is the stand I think you get like a trophy with it from what I can see in the instructions um, right over here this uh, V8 trophy looking thing here if I can find it there it is I think it goes on this stand here and then a car goes on it as well like a little 49 Ford Coupe as well goes on there so but yeah and then the next tree here you get some suspension components like I said this V8 trophy type thing that you can paint up if you want some steel rims suspension components drive shafts molded right into it as you can see uh, the dash. <clears throat> uh, some exhaust parts and then the uh, wheel opening covers there you can add to it. You get two engines with this kit as well so obviously one's probably the drag and a stock version but so that's nice. A couple different options and whichever way you go you end up with a few extra parts. Like I said it looks like it's a fairly decent kit to me. Chassis looks really nice and straight. Looks fairly decent. Not much uh, cleanup. Like I said, I'm fairly impressed. It's not like flashing and molding lines everywhere. It looks fairly good to me. Two hoods you get with the kit as well. One's probably uh, stock, custom. And then both hoods have the little indentation where you cut out for the hood scoop for the drag version. You get a nice steering wheel, um, and then you also get a uh, roll cage. I'm not too sure what this is. Maybe wheelie bars or something like that. Part of the wheelie bars. There's not even a part number on it, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Chrome looks good in the kit. The thing I love about this car is the uh, the bullet. Um, grill that it has on it that's really to me that's really cool 
they just don't make make um, cars like that anymore that really stand out. And, but Chrome looks really good to me too. So you see, you get the drag or custom wheels in there, and then there's some more uh, rims in here. I think those are the custom ones. So. Yeah, like I said, it looks like a good kit, and with the three different options that you can build it, it's, you get a crap load of tires with it as well. You get four stock tires, uh, white walls, like really nice tire, nice tread. Looks like a really good tire, so. And then you also get, uh, looks like a, st uh, obviously the uh, drag version. And then you get a little bit larger of a, like this tire here, it's a little bit bigger than stock. So I'm thinking it's a custom, or you're going to use it on the drag. But it's really detailed, you get the printing on it, you even get the arrow showing showing the direction. Uh, nice kind of a slick tread on it. And then you also get the drag slick as well. They're not huge slicks by any means, they're little slicks, but... Like this is on another AMT, I think the uh, the Nova kit, like that's that's that drag tire, and this is this one. So like I said, they're in comparison, they're really small, but but uh, but nice. Like I said, the printing on them, everything, they look like really nice tires. Like I said you get a ton of them, so that's kind of nice. Glass here, you get clear, and then you also get a red. Uh, red glass so if you want to go with the on the box it shows that they use it on the drag version for the red glass but that's nice uh, the decal sheet get a fairly nice looking options so it said lots of decals that's kind of cool Yeah, like I said, I'm, I, it's a fairly nice kit. I'm excited to build it. Can't wait to get building it. Like I said, I've wanted it for a while. Um, Going to go with the stock version. Um, was my plan with this kit. Uh, then just some round two stuff. Then the instructions. Oh, that's part of the that thing that was part of the engine stand. I guess you get a little engine stand with it. That's kind of neat. So it comes with an engine stand as well to show showcase an engine. And then I know you get a uh, there it is a little trophy stand as well with a trophy car. So that's nice. <clears throat> but there's the instruction sheet. Pretty straightforward. And then in the box, the final thing is you just get the little box of the uh, car. That's about it, guys. That's all you get. Like I said, reissued kit. I, I like it. It looks good. I'm um, excited to build it. You get lots of options. Uh, looks like AMT didn't cheap out on it, so that's really nice. And uh, excited to get building it. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, video of what's in the box and what you get. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll chat you later. Bye.